Okay. So previously we talked about <clears throat> the remainder theorem and how we can use it to evaluate a function. Uh, so here we have a polynomial f of x equals x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. And we want to use the remainder theorem to evaluate f of 2. Well, recall the remainder theorem says that f of 2 is equal to the remainder when we divide by x minus 2. With well, standard polynomial long division, that process is just way too long. Uh, it's way too much work and it's really not of any benefit to us. But using synthetic division, we can do this very quickly. We want to divide by x minus 2, so we would write down 2, which is just what we're evaluating, f of 2, all right, and then our coefficients. All right, and then we perform our process of long division. 1 comes down, 2 times 1 is 2, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, bring down to 5, 2 times 5 is 10, 2 plus 10 is 12, and so f of 2 is actually 12. And with this synthetic division process, we can actually do the process quicker by hand than we could evaluate it by hand. I know a lot of you are saying, hey, we got a calculator. I can probably do it quicker on a calculator. But I challenge you sometimes. There are some problems I can probably work it out quicker. Uh, doing uh, uh, synthetic division then you can probably do in your calculator and if you get practiced at doing it evaluating using synthetic division you can probably oftentimes do it quicker sometimes than, than you do it on a calculator so it's f of 2 is 12 so let's continue to our next example let's say we want to evaluate that same function at negative 3 so we bring in our negative 3 Again, write down our terms. The 1 comes down. Negative 3 and 1 is negative 3. Negative 2 plus negative 3 is negative 5. Negative 3 and negative 5 is 15. 5 plus 15 is 20. Negative 3 times 20 is a negative 60. Negative 2 plus 60 is a negative 58. And again, you may want to check on your calculator just to confirm. That this is the right answer, but it is. F of negative 3 is negative 58. Okay, consider part C. Let's evaluate F of 8. And you may want to pause the video and try this yourself. Okay, so let's see if you get the same answer that I get. So again, the 1 comes down. 8 and 1 is 8. Negative 2 and 8 is 6. 8 and 6 is 48. 5 and 48 would be 53. 8 and 53 is 424. 2 and 424 gives us 426. So this is using the remainder theorem to evaluate, and synthetic division to evaluate polynomials. Now you may be thinking, well, hey, I can do it on a calculator, so what do I care about this? Well, the amount of work that you have to do to evaluate it using synthetic division is actually a lot quicker, a lot less than what you would need to uh, <clears throat> evaluate it directly. So if you were doing some programming, you may want to use synthetic division as a means to uh, evaluate your polynomials quicker because it's less costly and if you're only doing a few operations it may not be a big deal but if you're doing billions of operations the savings in processing time could be quite great so that's using synthetic division in conjunction with the remainder theorem good luck